Okay, so this is going to be a quick video, follow up to my initial video on the Tiny Leader. This is the standard version, not the HD version. I found a solution, or I came up with a solution for doing 3S. I didn't have any 3S batteries that fit the holder that the uh, 2S uh, battery was for. And I couldn't find any 3S batteries that would fit that, so I just came up with my own solution here. I just made up my own 3D printed battery holder, and I'm using 3-1S LiPos here. And I'm using this a little PH2O connector adapter to XD30, and that just plugs into the standard, uh, well, the XD30 lead that's on there. I didn't change that. Suppose you could change that lead here and get rid of this connector completely if you just wanted to do 3S using, you know, these are just standard tiny whip batteries here. Let me pull this out. And the original. Uh, battery holder that was in here is a little bit smaller. I made, I made mine uh, about 10 millimeters in width and I think it's about double the size just because it's holding more batteries. I didn't want them slipping out. Mm, if your batteries are kind of puffed up, it might not fit. They, these are pretty new. Uh, these are just some beta FPV 260 milliamp hour. A lot of these are like around 260, uh, 250, 300 are about this size. So if you put three of them together like this, it will fit in the Holder here, and I'll put a link to the Thingiverse file. I'll upload that and put that there so anyone can download it. Basically, it was just you just take the old holder off, you just take off these two nuts on the side, take the old holder off, and then put this one on there, and you're good to go. Now, the tricky thing is you got to make this little adapter here yourself, and if you don't know how to do this, or if you screw it up, you can cause a lipo fire. So uh, be very careful. But let me just show you how this works. So, uh, basically, for 3S, it's just three 1S batteries in serial, and you have uh, a positive and a negative over here for on the XT30. Positive goes in over here on this side, and I actually marked the positives on all the 1S batteries. They're all red here. I just marked it up with a sharpie. So it goes positive over here, and then the negative on the one, the first battery goes to the positive on the second battery. So, you should be able to see that. So the negative goes to the positive to the second battery, and then the negative on the second battery goes to the positive on the third battery, and then the negative goes out to the negative lead on the XT30. So that's how you would properly wire this up. So hopefully you can see that on the camera. If uh, this doesn't make any sense to you, um, I would caution you not to do this mod. Uh, wait for someone to come up with something that you could buy, perhaps, I don't know. Or maybe a 3S battery you could buy later on. This is what I wanted to come up with because I have a crap load of these 1S batteries and they're not too heavy. I don't think I'm going to get like a terrific flight time or anything like that, so not expecting much. Maybe two minutes. But uh, it'll keep it light. And that's the part of this thing with this, uh, you want to probably keep it light because it's only 8 amps. And uh, yeah, I've been hearing stories that like some guys like they've been gotten this uh, either on two S or three S have um, killed it or it's been smoked or something like that. I'm not sure what's going on there. I've had I've had any problems with mine. It, it's working, and I just test test hovered this on three S and it was working. So um, if anything should change, I'll let you guys know. But if you want to do a three S setup and don't want to go hunt for three S lipos and use these little tiny whip uh, style batteries here. And 1S, this will get you in the air on 3S. So, anyway, I hope you guys help. I found this video helpful, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. First, yeah, the it hovers at a much lower throttle point. And barely on the throttle. Yeah, we got a nice uh, voltage sag there on full throttle. Let's see here. I'm just hovering around. Bump bumps up to 10.5. If I punch it, it drops to about 10. It's not too bad. I wish this had a current current meter so we could test how, how many milliamps are coming out, but I don't expect a very long flight here.
power. So it's still holding steady around 9 and 9.9, .9, 10 volts. a little bit heavier, obviously carrying one extra 1S LiPo. It's not too bad, at least on this setup. Even with the extra adapter. Okay, about 1 point, oh, let's see, 1 minute, 54 seconds. So I'm going to actually take it down to about, I think about 9, 9 volts. That can be a little bit too low. 9 volts would be 3 volts per cell. 10 volts here, probably at 3.3 volts. I should probably land pretty soon. Normally I land around 3.5 volts per cell. I'm going to wait till this sort of, yeah, there it goes. Now it's starting to drop. So I was expecting about a two minute flight. Plus I hovered for about 30 seconds on this pack here. So I'm going to pop into 300 milliamp hours. I think that's going to be a little bit more ideal. And I think we'll get a, a better flight time as well. Oh, it doesn't feel like there's any extra waste a little bit. It does need to be retuned. You feel it pulling. It's definitely faster. I think the uh, quality of your batteries is going to matter. I, the two, 260s I have uh, have a lot of charge cycles on them. This one, these Beta FPV 300s don't have as many charge cycles. I can feel they they have more power in them for sure. Yeah, I'm getting a, uh, doing a lot of full throttle there, so the voltage is sagging. Do a little full speed pass here. Whoa. Yeah, the, uh, when you go full throttle, it, it's pulling, so the eye gain is too low, or the anti-gravity is too low. That's fast. Alright, I'm going to kind of take it easy here, see if I can get me a little bit longer. Boy, I don't think, though, that if you guys are doing this mod here, I think you're looking for long flight times. are going to be better for you guys. So definitely check out the 300s. I'll put some links to those in the description. I think the 250, 260s are going to be a little bit too small. And yeah, it's time to land. Similar flight time, I think. But I was going a little bit more crazy on the throttle. The voltage is coming up now that I'm kind of taking it easy. But to give you an idea of what to expect on 3S or 2S, I hope you guys have any questions.